It's showtime. Welcome back for another hair tutorial. This one is very loosely based off of Grace Kelly, who was of course one of the great Hollywood icons of the 1950s. It's a really beautiful look which can be worn every single day or for any formal special occasion that you have. This brush out was done on a wet set that was achieved using foam rollers. If you would like to see a full tutorial of how I put in my foam rollers, then please do let me know by leaving a comment underneath this video or you can leave it under any of the pictures on my Instagram, send me a message on Facebook, anything like that. All of the links to my social media, so my Instagram, my Facebook, my We Heart It, my Pinterest, my Ko-Fi will all be in the description as they normally are along with all of the products that I used in today's video. To show you how I achieved this elegant look, then let's get into the tutorial. For this set, all of the rollers are set backwards except the top fringe roller which is rolled towards the face. You can see a fuller example of a similar pattern to this being rolled up in a video by Jessica Kelgren Fozard. I'll leave it in a card. Step 1 is to carefully uncurl all of these rollers into ringlets. My hair was dry when set but dampened with a mixture of lot body setting lotion and water. initial brush out, I'm using this eco-friendly lotus detangling hairbrush to brush all of the hair together and backwards. The leaf shape and double curve design make it perfect for detangling, which also makes it super gentle for brushing out the initial crunchiness out of the curls caused by the setting lotion. Continuing the brushing process, I'm switching to Lauren Reynolds' Miracle Curl Brush, which is designed for a vintage brush out. Here, the focus is on further smoothing and sculpting the curls into a cohesive wave, brushing the hair back to reveal the soft wave pattern. This could take a while, so get comfortable. <laughs> Some fun facts about the Hollywood icon. According to biographer Gina McKinnon, Grace Kelly preferred to primp herself, especially and most unbelievably after she became Princess of Monaco. She always kept a brush and powder in her bag for touch-ups. Creed's Fleurissimo, coming in at a whopping $360, was a perfume custom made for Grace Kelly on her wedding day to complement her bridal bouquet, a gift from her husband, Prince Rainier. This delicate bergamot, rose and violet scent can still be purchased today. I'm using a comb to finish smoothing the style. My finished look is a little curlier than Grace's completely smooth and very soft wave look, but that's actually how I prefer my styles, especially so I can wear it through multiple days easier. And the more days that you wear this style, the more it softens up. with a light spritz of a long wearing hairspray, like this cruelty free option from Liqueur Cosmetics, to help seal in the waves and the smoothness. This style looks especially elegant with a dainty pair of pearl earrings, which I'm wearing to complement this beautiful brooch gifted to me by an even more beautiful friend.
TikTok was used, Wani. All of the links for my Instagram, Ko-Fi, um, blah, blah. All of the links for my Instagram, Facebook, blog and Ko-Fi and anything else will in... Now a short intermission, so you'll have time to make your selection before the show begins. yesterday. Maybe that's why I'm tired. Mm -hmm. 